Um, my name's Jane Aarons, and I'm the director of the School of Social Work, which is the, the piece of campus that sort of drew this together initially. Uh, so it's my enormous pleasure to welcome everybody today. Our panelists will be introduced more fully later, and everybody who's, uh, who's been able to come. Uh, it feels slightly as though, uh, given what the weather could have been, uh, we could have missed this opportunity altogether. So um, the planets are aligned in our favor to give us this opportunity today, which feels a very important one, I think, because, I mean, our purpose and the, the gathering in um, has been to reflect together on the article in the November issue of Maclean's, which you'll all be aware of, uh, that constructed the possibility that Canadian universities were becoming too Asian. And having the opportunity together uh, here to think about what that signified, to think about the public discussions that got prompted after it, to think about the media discussions that followed, feels tremendously important. Also to think about the alliances and the solidarities that sprung in that process, um, that, that, that it sparked and the, the, the ideas they may give us for the future for that kind of solidarity building. And I guess, at risk of saying the obvious, the, the, the concern to gather, and thus the, the welcoming of this opportunity today, is born of a concern to understand um, the construction in the Maclean's article uh, of what were depicted as outsiders, them, those not yet, not heretofore not represented inside universities, as if they were infiltrating the university. And the university, by implication in that depiction, was characterized as a sort of unchanging institution uh, made up of, naturally, of, of something called us um, who belong here. So I think it's unpicking that troubling kind of construction that, that drew together the impetus for having a shared think today and that makes this such a welcome opportunity. Um, and to help us do that, we've got a really rich array of panelists who, as I say, I'll get introduced more fully in a moment, um, but who bring to us expertise from and experience from journalism, from community development, from anti-racist practice, uh, from academia, all those things need not be mutually exclusive, of course. Um, and uh, it feels like a really exciting opportunity. And I think their work and their insights can help us both unravel the incident and also think far beyond it to the possibilities that it surfaces for ideas about social change and uh, our, our understanding of those characterizations of insiders, outsiders, us and them, and the problematic binary in that, and the question about who belongs. Um, as plans for today took shape, um, it was really sort of exciting uh, to see inside the university uh, the, what, the apparent appetite for having a place to have this conversation. Um, people and departments sort of drew forward easily to help sponsor the event, um, and uh, it suggests there's kind of a a, a nice sense of readiness to engage with it and puzzle over it and worry about it uh, and think about strategies for the future. And so that comment about the, the excitement of seeing the interest brings me to some thanks that I'd like to make before we set off as well to those who sponsored and supported the event. Um, I, I'd like to name a few. One's the President's Advisory Committee on Building an Inclusive Community acronym more commonly PACBIC, um, which is, for those of you who aren't aware, a space on campus where sort of brings together, draws forward people with worries about how systemic social inequities unfold in institutional life, how we might address those, how we might under, better understand the barriers and obstacles in this place, in this institution. Um, the staff of the Office of Human Rights and Equity Services sort of staffs that committee's work, and I'd particularly like to thank Vilma Rossi from, the op from that office for her support and advice in the logistics of today, and also Michelle Poirier. 
Um, another big thank you goes to the L.R. Wilson Institute for Canadian History, who very generously shared their resources uh, to make parts of today possible, and in particular to bring JEET here to, uh, to campus today, um, aligning with an event of their own. And then there were uh, some other um, also much valued al alongsiders in the enterprise, if you like, the Departments of in English and Cultural Studies, Department of Communication Studies and Multimedia, the Graduate Program in Gender Studies and Feminist Research, all lent either practical or moral or network or material or filthy money support. Um, thanks to all of them. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the, the working group inside the School of Social Work who brought this together as well. Um, Rachel Jo is sitting down here at the front and she was really the shepherd and the impetus for much of this. And in a moment I'll introduce the other people in that group um, who, who, who pulled this off. Um, just before that, a couple of practical things. You'll notice that we have a video camera subtly placed over there. Um, we wanted to record the event and the panelists have kindly agreed uh, that to go along with that, that that's fine. When we come to the discussion, um, we'll remind you of this again, but if, there are if in the audience you want to raise a question but you don't want to be recorded, we'll ask you to indicate that. But we just wanted you to be aware of it. The other thing I just wanted, on a practical note, for you to be aware of is that um, over in the back there, we have some visiting guests from the Dominican Republic who are, it's delightful to have here, and they have a simultaneous translator working with them. So if you hear a low-grade interested buzz from the back, um, that's what that will be. Um, I think they're all my practical things and sort of the, the scene setter of our purpose here and, deli and, and delight in everybody coming. So I'd like to turn over to the folks on the organizing committee who are going to shepherd us through the rest of the program and just introduce them briefly. Lisa Watt, who's sitting here in green jacket, um, is a PhD candidate in the School of Social Work in our program on social work and social justice. And she's going to start us off with a quick overview of what appeared in McLean's, just to situate us all in the sort of common space. Uh, and then Winnie Lowe, who's there, um, another of our PhD candidates, will introduce the speakers who will speak in succession. And then Chris Sinding, who's a faculty member in social work and health aging and society, We'll then invite sort of dialogue among you folk, and then we'll open things for questions and discussion. So that's our, that's our ceremony for tonight. I think it sounds really exciting, and welcome, and over to you.